On May 1, 2022, MLCCC Week in School hosted our first ever Chinese Culture Games event specifically for our Chinese as a second language and our Montessori families. Students from these families often do not have a Chinese speaking or Chinese cultural environment at home, so our school decided to bring the culture to them. The event runs during our week in school time at multiple time slots, so students can attend right before or right after their classes. Our students and parents from our Chinese as a heritage language track helped the event tremendously by creating the exhibits, the games, and the videos. We have six cultural categories and about nine games, such as matching traditional holiday names and their corresponding foods, making dumplings with Play-Doh, and much more. Prizes will also be given. Let's check out the event together. China is one of the countries with the earliest origins of civilization in the world, with nearly 4,000 years of written history. Dumplings are a famous traditional Chinese food. They are named according to their various fillings and cooking methods such as fried, heated in boiling water, or steamed. Looks easy? Please use the Play-Doh to make a dumpling. See if you can make a pretty one, or just show off your chopstick skills. The traditional Chinese festivals will introduce you to the life in China. The Lantern Festival marks the end of the Chinese New Year. It's all about lantern watching, solving riddles, and eating tang yuan. We will play a game after you watch the following video. Lantern Festival, the earliest existing carnival in China, forms on the 15th day of the first lunar month. Its large-scale lantern exhibitions are held throughout the country. Good job. What do you think of today's event? It was great. My CSL3 class attended the event and everyone said they loved it. Um, they learned something different, like the book doesn't teach them. So they had a great time. Was there anything such as your students that find enjoying, like what activities do they find enjoying? They love the activities that actually match the topics that, mm -hmm. and they act like it extend and reinforce the information that they learned. So they, they do enjoy it a lot. In Chinese, Ni Hao means hello. Xie Xie means thank you. Wu Keqi means you are welcome, and Zai Jian means goodbye. Learning these polite expressions will make it easy for you to travel and make friends in China. Now, repeat after me. The Chinese zodiac consists of 12 animals. No one knows the exact date when the zodiac was created, but they were officially identified during the Han Dynasty and are still commonly used today. What's your sign? In Western astrology, 
It's a constellation determined by when your birthday falls in the calendar. But according to the Chinese zodiac, or sheng xiao, it's your shu xiang, meaning the animal assigned to your birth year. Now, can you figure out your sign and when your next zodiac year will be? So whether or not you place stock in what the zodiac says about you as an individual, it certainly reveals much about the culture it comes from. Shaolin Kung Fu is one of the oldest, largest, and most famous styles of Kung Fu of Chen Buddhism. It combines Chen philosophy and martial arts and originated and was developed in Shaolin Temple. This 1,500-year-old fusion of Kung Fu and religion is kept alive by an elite order of monks that inspired over a hundred martial arts movies. Can you give us a Kung Fu pose and see if you have the potential to become a martial arts master? Yay! Hi, so what do you think of today's event? It was, it was, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 can't, I, I just have to agree that it was amazing. Uh, even though that we are um, mm -hmm. not from uh, China, we are from South America. And uh, my and my mom's um she comes from Peru. My dad comes from Guatemala, and I come from here. My big cousin comes from here, and my cousin comes from Peru, and my other cousin comes from here. Right, and I, I loved it. And we started here because she was very interested mm -hmm. in learning the language, and um, so I'm learning with her, and I'm very, very happy to be here, and thank you so much for the opportunity. We are learning tons uh, with all these activities. It was very nice. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Shishi. Shishi. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I thought it was very interesting. Um, I'm learning about Chinese culture uh, through my wife and my son, and uh, I'm enjoying coming to NLCC and, and learning something new each time I come to the classes. Do you think there's anything we can improve in this event? Um, no, honestly. I, it's For someone who knows nothing about Chinese culture, this is the perfect introduction. Okay, thank you so much. Did you enjoy the event? Did you learn anything new? Did you notice any similarities to your own heritage? While culture is rooted in traditions and specific traditions do differ from one civilization to another, universal themes of family and harmony are present throughout many cultures. We hope you enjoy our inaugural Chinese Culture Games event for CSL and Montessori families. Join us next time if you missed today's event. Here, deep gratitude to CHL families who helped us to make it happen. We at MLCCC enjoy engaging with people of all backgrounds and who are interested in Chinese culture. Until next time.